have with us the latest portable SSD from Samsung. This is the Samsung T9 portable SSD. I believe this came out October 2023. Today we'll be taking a full look at this portable SSD. We'll be doing a unboxing, a setup and a speed test on this SSD. And then after that I'll give you my final thoughts on this Samsung T9 portable SSD. As usual timestamps and links to everything that I talk about in this video will be in the description. So if you see something that sparks your interest then feel free to check it out. This is the box that we get the Samsung T9 portable SSD in. Now on the front we have Samsung in the top left and then in the top right we have the devices which this SSD is compatible with which is pretty much all the operating systems that you can find out there which is Windows, Mac OS and Android. I think this will be able to work on a new iPhone 15 Pro also. I am not sure because currently I don't have an iPhone 15 Pro but when I get the iPhone 15 Pro in the near future I'll be testing this SSD to see if it works with the iPhone 15 Pro so subscribe and stay tuned for that. But what I'll be testing for sure is using this on the Xbox and also the PlayStation. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that video. Right here we have how this SSD looks. Then here we have portable SSD T9. I believe the one before this one was the T7 Chill. Now we have the T9. I guess they skipped the number 8. I'm not sure. Over here we have the speed which is up to 2000 megabytes per second and this one that we have here is the one terabyte version. This is also available in two and four terabytes if you want. On the right of the box we have five year limited warranty, password protection, three meter drop protection, three meter which is about 9.8 feet. On the left of the box we have performance information, reliability information, compatibility information and what is inside of the box. We also get the dimension and the weight of this SSD. On the back of the box we have Samsung Portable SSD T9 super fast external storage. Right here it states that if you want more information on the warranty and the product information you should visit Samsung website. Down here we get some more information which I don't think is that important so let's move on to the bottom of the box. On the bottom of the box we have the model number, the barcode, the production date and where it was made. Now that's out of the way, let's open the box like this. Wow this is locked up in a vault like. Let's open the vault like this and then here we are greeted with the actual SSD but let's put that aside for now. Pull right here and you'll get access to another box. Inside the box we have a USB-C to USB-C cable and also a USB-C to USB-A cable. Then we have the manual but you all know we don't read manuals around here because my video is the manual. Now let's get back to the main focus which is the SSD. Now right here in terms of texture this kind of feel more rugged than the T7 shield. But it's not as durable as a T7 shield because a T7 shield has dust and water resistance while a T9 has none of that. I'll be doing a full comparison between the T7 shield and the Samsung T9 so subscribe and stay tuned for that. So yeah this feels very rugged and it has a rough rubbery texture to it and it comes with some curves all around it. Right here we have the USB-C port and also a LED indicator light. So if you're looking to save some money on your phone service then you should check out my partner Mint Mobile to see what they're offering. They are way cheaper and you're getting 5G coverage and there's no overhead charges. You can also get flexible plan option and you can also bring your current phone and use your current phone number. With Mint Mobile you're on the nation's largest 5G network and you pay way less than what the big wireless companies are charging out there because they don't have to pay to open retail stores or pay sales representatives. They literally just sell directly to you online which results in them having one of the lowest costs when it comes down to phone services on the market. What I really like about Mint Mobile is that you can change the plans whenever you want. You don't get locked into a plan for a certain period of time. You can change whenever you want. Let's say you went with the unlimited plan because you think you wanted the unlimited data. 
but then after a month of using the unlimited plan you realize that you don't need all that data you can then change to a cheaper plan which saves you even more money if you realize that you don't need that unlimited plan oh and if you have an unlocked phone you can just bring that right over to Mint mobile and connect it right away and if you're like me and you have a phone number that you don't want to lose you can also transfer that phone number over to mint mobile with no problem at all switching your plan to mint mobile only takes like 15 minutes and you can get plans as cheap as 15 dollars per month and all you have to do is just click the link down below in the description and go ahead and check it out now back to the video guys now let's set up the samsung t9 portable ssd right here we have our usb to usb c cable and then we have our usb a to usb c cable right here i think i'm gonna go with the usb c to usb c cable because that's the port that i have available on my computer at the moment but feel free to go with either one it doesn't matter so here you see i have two usb c ports you can plug it in either one so i'm gonna take this out of the wrap real quick like that and then i'm gonna plug one end it doesn't matter which end you plug in there i'm gonna plug one end inside my computer like this boom nice and easy make sure it's all the way in and then i'm going to take the other end and plug inside the ssd like this boom so right away the led light is flashing and it bring me to the screen which i'm going to show you right now it bring me to the screen right here and as you can see we have a file for android we have a file for mac and we also have a file for windows so i'm going to double click on this i don't think you need to double click on this this is only if you want to use the samsung portable ssd software but i want to use it just for this video so i can show you guys what's going on in here real quick so let's double click on that and then it might ask you to run yes or no just do yes and then here it will ask you that okay so it's already installed because i already have those t7 shield ssd so yeah let's go ahead and do the new installation hit yes and then let's do accept agreement then do next and let it install it should shouldn't take that long just let it install then it's done hit finish and i think it should open up automatically uh over here it is saying let me show you guys on camera so over here it is saying are you a resident of a european country for me this is no it could be yes for you i'm not sure let's go back to the screen so here let's see um let's call this let's call this d d ridley t9 and for now i'm gonna do with security mode off because why not um right here does it say i have an update Ah, huh, yeah we actually have a update try to make sure that you're up to date on your ssd so yeah you definitely have one update let's do a refresh yeah so let's do a quick update shouldn't take long 100 percent really quick nothing too serious and yeah that's done let's refresh again just to make sure we are all up to date ah huh, one more that's weird i just did it that's weird unable update successivity please reconnect oh i need to plug out the ssd and plug it back in so let me show you guys real quick so i'm just gonna simply plug out the ssd like this boom and then just plug it back in boom all right so now it's plugged back in let's go back to the software right here you can pin this to your taskbar if you want or whatever whatever is is good for you all right so let's go back to the renaming so let's call this dr one d l g y t9 let's do done and yeah you're pretty much done you can always turn on back the security mode if you want you can change the name you can do whatever you want inside here let's do security mode for this video so here you just simply put in your password so for this video i'm just going to do one two three four and then let's do one two three four for this one also and they will done so right there 
the password is connected and if we exit out and if we try to access if we close out like that and let's reconnect again let's disconnect like plugging out and let's plug back in our ssd like that boom and right here it will ask you for a password as soon as you put it in and if you try to like drag over something let's just try to drag over like an audio or something in there let's see if it would allow us let's try to do paste yeah so here it will say you need additional memory to copy over that file but i think that's because we don't put in the password so let's put in the password real quick one two three four unlock take some time boom now it's unlock now we can do paste and you can paste your video so you can paste your video right there so the thing is if you don't put in the password and you try to transfer something it won't allow you it will say that you don't have enough space that's a good feature so no one can transfer over something without your permission so let's see if we can actually copy off stuff without putting the password in so let's go ahead and unplug again and let's plug it back in real quick boom all right so you don't even see anything on the ssd without putting in the password like that's cool right there let's put in the password now boom and now you can see what's on the ssd that's a really good feature but me personally i think that's an extra step and i don't really think i need to put in a password for me personally maybe for you that would be different so for now i'm going to turn off this feature um trust me it doesn't hurt to have on a password that's only even more security for you so to change it from no password you have to put in your password which is a pretty good feature so now i don't have to worry about putting in a password but why doesn't this rename oh maybe you have to actually rename it here yeah let's actually rename it here let's go rename let's call it d and then do t9 just like that boom right away nice and easy and let's get rid of all of these because i don't need these at the moment i can always get them back from the samsung website or somewhere or if you don't want to delete them here's a cool trick just do like not use and then just drag them inside that folder i can get rid of this and yeah so now we're going to do some speed tests for you guys real quick all right guys so for the speed test i'm gonna transfer over my previous youtube video if you haven't watched it go ahead and watch it that's the esr 15 watt car charger with magsafe go ahead and check that video out i put in a lot of work in that video i really appreciate you guys watching that video so let's do a transfer test so now the speed on the box it does say 2000 megabytes per second right here we have a 5.98 gigabyte file so we're gonna go ahead and transfer it and if this says like 2000 megabytes per second that means this should only take less than three seconds or three seconds max so with that said i'm gonna do a transfer with a stopwatch on screen so i'm gonna do start now don't watch the start time. I just want to pause it. I'm going to go back in the editing software and pause it to see when it's actually done. So, and when it actually started. So let's copy this real quick and let's paste it over here like this. And we're going to paste in three, two, one, go. Yeah, so that definitely took more than six seconds. Let's also play a video from it and see if it plays instantly. Let's go ahead. Let's play the video over here. So it plays it smooth and nice. I don't really see any difference from playing it on the computer versus off the SSD. So, so far it looks actually good playing straight from the ssd and if we look on the ssd over here let me show you guys let me see if we can turn it 
if you look at the ssd over here you can see that the light is flashing that means it is reading from the ssd so whenever you see this light flashing it's either reading a file or writing a file either one it is actually working that's just to show you that hey i'm working i'm currently working and whenever you see that light flashing it's not really a good time to unplug it because you may corrupt a file by unplugging it while it's flashing with that said guys the playback speed so with that said guys watching a video on the ssd shouldn't be any issues and same with editing a video from this ssd shouldn't be a issue i'm gonna definitely edit videos on this ssd but i know for sure it's not gonna be any issue because i edit from my t7 shield all the while and this right here is much faster than the t7 shield here are my final thoughts on this samsung t7 shield ssd now personally i think that ssd speeds are so fast when you compare them to a hard drive now i don't really have anything bad to say about this ssd right here because it is so fast it is kind of durable not as durable as the t7 shield but it is durable you can drop it up to nine feet which is pretty good it is fast i can't say fast too many times because it is fast but yeah overall i think this is a good ssd and i think you should definitely check it out if you're in the market for a new portable ssd and personally as a content creator i see myself getting more of these in the near future and i haven't even started to use this as yet that's how i know that yes this is something i definitely will have multiple of in the near future i know i can't go wrong with these because i have these two samsung t7 shield ssd for about a year now and they've been going so good like I have, I have no issues with those. I edit from them. I store footage on them. I store personal files, work files, all different kind of files on them. I never lose any files. No files ever been corrupted. So as I said, their reputation is just so good. So definitely check it out. Link will be in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if this video was helpful to you. Like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.